Hello, my name is Johanna Schwinghammer, and this is my presentation on the common raccoon dog, scientifically known as Nycterotes procyonoides. The raccoon dog is part of the Canidae family and is of the genus Nycterotes. These dogs are mammals of the Chordata phylum. The Greek word Nycterotes means night wanderer, and there are four subspecies of the common raccoon dog. The Chinese raccoon dog in eastern China, the Korean raccoon dog in Korea, the Yunnan raccoon dog in southeastern China and northern Vietnam, and the Usuri raccoon dog in Russia's Siberian and Amur territories. The common raccoon dog lives in Europe and Asia, specifically China, Japan, Russia, Vietnam, North Korea, South Korea, Austria, France, Hungary, Poland, Romania, Slovakia, Germany, Sweden, and Finland. The habitat in these areas is mainly temperate grassland and carnivorous and broadleaf forest. The thick vegetation is vital for the raccoon dog's survival because, because they are able to utilize their camouflage and find prey. Even though the common raccoon dog is considered a predator to some animals, they are also prey to many other species. Wolverines, wolves, lynx, eagles, and domesticated dogs all prey on the raccoon dog. Humans are another large threat to them. Among all of its predators, humans are the most dangerous. They are considered a form of cuisine in Japan, and the fur of the dog is highly valued, so they are frequently trapped and hunted for both elements. These dogs have also been known to transmit diseases, so they are considered pests in urban areas and are frequently poisoned or shot if found in these environments. Since these animals face threats from many predators, they need mechanisms to escape in these life or death situations. Since the dogs are small, their best bet for survival is to escape and avoid a fight, so they have developed a knack for speed and have been recorded running at speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. If they are unable to escape a fight, they only have their teeth and claws for protection, but since the dog is so small, their chances of survival in a fight are slim. However, the raccoon dog is the only known canine to hibernate, so the threats of predators are nearly non-existent in the winter months. During serious snowstorm months, these animals will seek shelter in an abandoned badger burrow and settle with, with their hibernation partner. These dogs are omnivores and have been found eating birds, bird eggs, insects, lizards, snakes, and mice, as well as frogs, crabs, and fish because the raccoon dog is able to swim and dive. If unable to find prey, they will also eat berries and nuts when they are in season. They have also been considered scavengers in some situations because some raccoon dogs live in urban areas and will dig through trash in order to find a meal. If food in their area becomes scarce, they will migrate long distances to find a more plentiful food source. Being a part of the Canidae family, the raccoon dog shares a similar digestive system to other canines. Raccoon dogs have 42 to 44 teeth compared to the human's 32. And these, their teeth are sharper, longer, and designed to tear through tough surfaces. However, they are also a little weaker, so they're more likely to fall out. Unlike humans, the saliva that raccoon dogs produce doesn't contain am amylase, meaning that their digestion doesn't begin until their food reaches the stomach. Here, the food is broken down with three main types of proteins. Startlingly, Canada's stomachs produce up to 100 times more acid than a human's, meaning that they rapidly break down proteins that can soften bone matter. Once the food leaves the stomach, it enters the small intestine where any beneficial nutrients are absorbed into the bloodstream. The raccoon dog's intestines are also about 50% longer than other dog species, um, which allows them to process the vegetable component of their diet. What remains after the intestines is passed through to the rectum to be pooped out. The common raccoon dog has a few key features in their body plan that allow them to survive and live effectively. Obviously, it resembles a raccoon and has dark facial markings that contrast with its light brown coat. It has short brown or blackish limbs, a heavy body, and rounded ears, 
all of which allow it to camouflage into its environment. Their head and body length is between 20 and 26 inches, tail length is 5 to 7 inches, and they weigh around 16 pounds. Their fur is dense and soft, and they have thick, bushy tails that are black on top, light yellow on the bottom, and have a black tip. They molt in the summer, then grow a winter coat, and then molt again in the spring before growing their lighter summer coat. On average, individuals in Europe tend to be larger than those in China and Japan. The average lifespan of this species is between three and eight years in the wild, but they have been known to live for 11 years in captivity. Pups are born with their eyes closed and a very thin coat of coarse hair. Once the pups are 10 days old, their eyes open and they begin to grow guard hairs. After 14 to 16 days, their teeth erupt and their hair begins to lighten, only staying dark around the eyes. They begin eating some solid food at around three weeks old, but don't stop nursing until after around 50 days. Once they are close to four and a half months old, they are fully grown and leave their parents to live independently. They reach adulthood and sexual maturity at 10 months old and unite in pairs. Once they find a mate, they are together for life. The common raccoon dog reproduces sexually and the mating season begins in February and goes through April. Females release a scent signaling that they are ready to mate and usually three to four males fight for her. The fighting is brief and non-fatal and the strongest male wins her over. Once pregnant, the gestation period lasts between 60 and 70 days before the litter is born in April or May. The litter normally consists of six pups, but there have been litters recorded with as many as 15 or 16 pups. First-time mothers typically give birth to fewer pups than older experienced mothers. The pups are born weighing between two and six ounces. For reference, a six ounce pup weighs around the same as a pet hamster. This species is typically monogamous, and once a female and male pair up, they mate for life. The pairs mate once a year, and once the pups are born, both male and female help care for them. During late pregnancy, the male brings his mate food. After the female gives birth, the male typically watches over the young while the female hunts for food. The mother nurses her pups for the first 40 to 60 days, but the pups start eating some solid food at around three weeks old. At around four months old, the pups begin learning how to hunt by watching and mimicking their parents. In a very short time, they are self-supporting and full grown and leave their parents in the fall. A 2014 polar study sought to determine the differences in the structure of the digestive and integumentary systems in farmed versus wild raccoon dogs. The subjects were 16 farmed raccoon dogs and 16 wild raccoon dogs that were shot in different regions of Poland in late autumn. Both groups were fed the same feed, the farmed animals from birth and the wild animals for two weeks before they were killed. They also both had constant access to drinking water. At the end of November, all of the subjects were killed and tests were conducted that included measurement of each segment of the gastrointestinal tract, analysis of stomach contents, and skin size parameters, which included weight and length, as well as assessment of hair coat defects. The study showed that on average, the farmed animals were about six kilograms heavier than the wild animals. Other significant differences were noted for the total length of the gastrointestinal tract, intestinal length, stomach length, um, and cecum length, as well as highly significant differences for the length of the esophagus, duodenum, jejunum, ileum, large intestine, colon, and rectum. The study found that the intestines or the passage of food through the digestive tract was significantly longer in wild raccoon dogs. This can be explained by the fact that the diet of the wild animals included more food of plant origin. When looking through their stomach contents, it was found that the wild raccoon dogs had about 74.2% of their contents were plant-based food, 
followed by invertebrates, which were 20%, and vertebrates were 5.6% of the stomach contents. The farmed animals receive a more balanced diet, meaning that they had less plant-based materials in their stomach, so their intestines didn't need to be quite as long. The scientists concluded that proper feeding on farms and breeding work that were conducted for many years led to the differentiation of farmed and wild populations of raccoon dogs in numerous metric traits of the gastrointestinal tract and integumentary systems. Here are a couple fun facts about the raccoon dog. They are not closely related to the raccoon. They are the only canid that hibernates. They are able to eat toads that have toxic skin because they produce a copious amount of saliva. They are legal to own or bring into the United States and they are considered invasive in the United States. Um, the oldest known raccoon dog was 16, and his name was Tanu. The earliest mentions of raccoon dogs appeared in 1834, and the first cage farming of this species began in the late 1920s. Even though the common raccoon dog is considered invasive in some countries, it is obvious that it is an incredibly interesting creature and should be treated as so. And here are my sources. Thank you.